welcome back to my channel so today for today's video I'm just kind of gonna do my everyday makeup tutorial I kind of did this a few months back which was kind of my chatty get ready with me and yeah I thought because I'm kind of waiting to do some more videos I'm kind of planning on doing them next week some of the stuff that people have suggested I thought I'd just quickly sit down do my everyday makeup routine it is currently upload day I am filming this on upload day because that is how lazy I actually am so I have everything set up here hopefully this is more in focus than the last video which I hope you all did enjoy anyway because I did really enjoy making that video let's get into the video okay so I have just washed my face so for that I used a St. Ives apricot scrub and the Neutrogena grapefruit daily scrub there will be a video on the process of how I'm getting on with that in the next oncoming weeks because I'm so filming it it's kind of like a progressional video we're gonna go in with moisturizer first of all I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Nivea moisturizer and just pop it all over the skin Okay, so I'm gonna go in, like always, with the ABH Dip Brow in dark brown and my Morphe M158 brush. And I'm just gonna brush through the hairs. And then I'm just gonna start to fill them in. So literally just following what we've already got going on. So I'm just gonna go and do this eyebrow and then I'll be right back with you just because perfecting these eyebrows is a mess. Okay guys, so hopefully this is the best that the eyebrows are actually gonna get. So we're now just gonna go ahead and carve the eyebrows. So for that I'm taking my collection Last Imperfection Concealer in number one fair and my M224 brush. So I put a little bit on the back of my hands, hands, hand, and I'm just gonna start to use it as cleaning up the eyebrows, but also as my base for any eyeshadows. Okay, so we've now done the eye. Next thing, because obviously this is just a natural, everyday look, I'm only gonna be using about two or three colors for this. So, first color we're using is obviously from this palette right here. You all know what it is. Like I said, it's my right eye dye. It is the love of my life. It is the James Charles palette. So, all I'm gonna do is take this first color right here, this really nice tan light brown color, and just take it on my M441 brush. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna look, lift my eyebrows up, and just start to from the outer third and just drag it in and what you'll see is that when you look up it will drag it out but when you look straight on it will be just like a wing and I'm just going to carry on going back and forth with a really light hand just to drag it out as you can see. I'm going to do the same with the other eye. So I really am bringing that just really far into the bridge of my nose and then just drag it down. So it's always best, if you're doing eyeshadow like this, it's always best to do it before you put any foundation on because you can always clean it up with foundation and then if you do it wrong once foundation's on, if it all goes skew with, then you just have to just drag it back out again, it's fine. So we're now gonna go in with the second color, which is the Makeup Revolution Bronzer. This is in the color Cool, so this is number one. And I'm just gonna take that on the same brush and I'm just gonna put that just where we put the other brown and just drag it out. And then just at the same time, I'm gonna take a clean M433 brush, start to blend it all out, just like so. So I've kind of kept it like skin colored base. So like a lot of browns and cool tones, just so that it all blends out nicely. Plus it's just an everyday look, so you don't want it to be too harsh or out there. Then the third and final color on this brush that we're gonna be using is the color Code Jib. So I'm just gonna lightly, really lightly brush it through and 
basically all this is going to do is it's just going to warm it up. You don't need to use a lot of it because like I said it's only warming up the shades that we've got going on. And then I'm just going to take the same shade but mix in Code James with the other two shades that we used and I'm just going to drag it out from the outer third. Okay, so you may just look a little bit crazy, but don't worry, we're sorting it all out. I'm just gonna blend through again, just to make sure there's no harsh edges, because again, we're trying to make this look really natural. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this Morphe M456 brush, and on that, I'm just gonna take this yellow colour here, but also mix it with the yellow tone powder in the imagination palette so that's the color my gal and just apply that just on the lid because one it will set the base but two will also just give that natural eyelid color that we're looking for so more skin color vibes like so okay so that's it with the eyeshadow i know wow amazing so now we're going into eyeliner so for that i'm gonna just take my rimmel exaggerate eyeliner in the color black and i'm gonna start so basically I'm just gonna drag it here and drag it out yeah, and i'm just gonna leave the wing like that i'm not gonna do anything else and then I'm just going to take my brush and just slowly line it up to the lash line. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's the eyeliner that we're going for. We're not bringing it all the way into the inner third. This is kind of like a natural look, but also it's an eyeliner look that will enhance your eye shape. So it will change it in a way. So like for me, my eyes are very just like straight. I use this and it kind of brings it up just a little bit. So I'm just gonna do the same with the other eye. Okay guys, so that is the eyeliner done. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna apply my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara just to the lashes. This is why I'm not one of them talented makeup artists who can do like the Grinch on their face or whatever because I can't even manage to keep mascara off my eyelids. <laughs> and then for lashes, we're gonna use my all time favorites. These are the most natural lashes for me and they are my 117s from my so I'm just going to get some eyelash glue. I have literally just finished binge watching Stranger Things and I knew the hype around it was amazing anyway but I started watching it obviously when it first came out but I'm one of them people that when something first comes out I'll start watching it and then if I have to leave somewhere so I basically started watching it at my friend's house and then I had to leave and go home and when I did that I just completely forgot to pick up on it and didn't watch it since however I've just binge watched the whole two seasons and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's just because recently I've really been loving Millie Bobby Brown. She is so cool. I absolutely love her. I've just binge watched all of that. Obviously the new season comes out on July 4th. So I will be watching that. And I really want July 4th to hurry the F up. Because I want to watch it now. Because I love it so freaking much and also jess hasn't even watched it yet either she's not watched any of strange things and every time i watched it she was like oh my god spoilers and because i'm missing it so much and i've literally only finished it like last week i am gonna re-watch it with jess when she gets around to watching it so hopefully that's before july 4th but i watched the whole of stranger things so i watched season one and two and then i watched beyond stranger things which is like the interviews with the cast and the creators and the director of the show and it's just so cool to watch and like get their insight in it and how it was filming and seeing outtakes and everything like that like I just love behind the scene clips okay so that is the eyes completely finished you don't need to do anything else until later on we use add mascara 
So now we're going to go in with the face. So I'm going to obviously go in with my foundation. So I'm going to be taking my Revolution Conceal and Define in the colour F0.2 and my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the colour 220. I'm mixing them together just because this one here is just that little bit too bright for me so it's, it's not good and then obviously this one's just a bit too dark without my tan on so i'm just gonna mix them both together okay i'm gonna take an m439 brush just start to blend in i do blend it all the way down the neck as well i like to pat it in rather than do it in circular motions just because i feel like you get a a more flawless finish doing it that way plus it covers up your spots a lot better which is what i need again with concealer so this is the last imperfection concealer again apply it all underneath the eye i am going to use the same foundation brush just to buff it all in as you can see i'm just dragging it down instead of again any circular motions or anything like that just because we don't want to ruin any looks that we've got on but also i just prefer to do that okay so this camera kind of keeps cutting off on me so what we've done is we've concealed the under eyes with our last imperfection concealer and now we're just going in with the Imagination palette and the colours Pretty Heart and My Gal just to set the face. So I'm not doing this in any circular motions. I am literally patting it down because you don't want to move any of the product. Then I'm going to take my Morphe 4 brush and the Revolution bronzer. And then I am just going to mix a little bit of Code James in with my bronzer, but not a lot. So whatever we've got on the brush, really lightly. I saw this on Twitter the other day. So basically, someone tweeted about one of James Charles's shades in his palette, and he said that he uses it as a blush. So I was like, oh my god, I need to try this out. So... I'm gonna take, so it's a fourth colour in, so sorry I forget I'm really bad with names, so it's a fourth colour in but I also mix it with the first one and this is a good dupe for the Coralista blush because I've just run out of that. Then I'm just gonna take my powder brush, just pat that out a little bit so it's not as harsh, you know what I mean, it's cute. So today's just all a lot about mixtures. So I'm going to just take the Slay My Light highlighter in the Imagination palette. A little bit of face and ring light as well. But we're going to keep it like quite goldy shade. And just apply that on the face. Then I'm going to take... Um, an M431 and I'm gonna take limited edition and a little bit of slay my line. I'm just gonna highlight the brow bone and then just the inner corners as well. I'm just gonna use my finger just to blend that out. Tiny little bit. And then I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just drag any excess product that we've got out and then just apply some mascara to the bottom lashes and then just to finish it all off I'm gonna take MAC Saw Lip Liner and MAC Velvet Teddy And then just finally I'm just going to take my M124 and I'm just going to blend the lips together. And 
this is the end result guys this is my everyday makeup this is what i do if i'm just going out or if i'm just chilling for the day this is the look i would do so yeah i hope you've all enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a huge thumbs up also hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss a post comment down below let me know what you think what videos you'd like to see if you enjoyed this video etc etc also follow me on all my social media so my instagram will be linked in the description below along with my twitter and also i do have a depop account so if you want to see any clothes that i am selling then definitely head over there and check them out if you want to follow my tiktok i mean i'm never really active on there but if you want to follow it go follow it also, just to let you know, this t-shirt is from a company that I am a brand ambassador for. This company called Louis Rose. If you use my code SHARTY15 at checkout, you will get 15% off your orders. Definitely go check them out. They've got some really cool clothes, just like this t-shirt here. So they do everything from hoodies to t-shirts to tracksuits, sweatshirts. Um, accessories anything like that so yeah if you go to their website use shati15 at checkout you will get 15% off your order so guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you have all enjoyed this video bye through the wastelands through the highways till my shadow turns to sun rays and